Okay. Do you know the rules, Mark? No. Right, you've got to put the salt on the floor. Yeah, listen. Take, take your earplugs off. Let me use. Okay. Put the salt down next to the wood. Okay. And you start with your hands on the wood. So both hands up on the wood. You can keep the saw running in a second. Okay, so we'll stand around this side, hands on the wood. And when I say, X, the saw is, are you ready? Go one, two, three. You pick the saw up, you cut as fast as you can. Okay. Oh, not getting too short. You, you can start it now. Yeah. Like this will be very good, not disastrous. <laughs> Just to let everybody know, Mark here, who we affectionately call Don, is a chainsaw instructor and assessor, so we're expecting great things from him on this demonstration. So, Sawyer, are you ready? Go one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> Well, I hope you do better than that in the next one. Or you go back to Kemp when you came from. What they're going to do is just set the teeth into the top of the block. That's enough. Uh, stop shooting. That's it. They set the, the saw into the log just for safety, really, just to stop it bouncing out and hitting the stand. Or my stand being my saw being damaged. Okay, we've got uh that is a big saw. We've got Robert Owens silver box down this end of the saw from Landegli in Mid Wales. Got Sean Raymond, local man, just from over there. And we've got Colin from Mid Low. He's come to do the sawing for us. Do you know what you're doing this time? Yeah? Okay, we're ready for this then, gents. On the wood. No cheating. Sawyers, are you ready? It's going to cut out again. Go one, two, three. It's amazing what you can achieve when you cheat. Well, quite often the cross-cut saw will be the chainsaw. The main difference here, like rule next time, why well, you're going to get someone else to do it. Um, it will generally be the chainsaw. The main difference being that uh, those boys are ready for a ride down now and Mark will probably cut on and quite happy all day. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the standing block. So I've got to pass over the rug. It's one of two saws that we use. The other type is a, what we call a peg and raker. It's a much more aggressive, faster saw. And they cost in the region of about £1,000. Originally these were made out of band saws, but uh, these are specially handmade, specifically for racing. And what we're going to do, we're going to race it against the chainsaw. So where's Gollum? Gollum's our uh, token chainsaw operator for the day. He lost in the first race, so he cheated in the second race and brought a bigger saw out, and he won that. So what we're going to do is, uh, myself and Rob Owens here are going to take him on with a saw. We were, uh, well, British Championship sawers a couple of times, so we're going to give him a bit of stick and give him a run for his money. If I can just hand you over to Simon. Right, if you want to warm your saw up, Gollum.
That'll do. Right, what these guys have done here is they've set the teeth. They've set the teeth into the log and that's purely for health and safety. It's not giving them that much of a head start. On the top of the log, top of the log, bottom, one on the other. No. As long as your hands are on the wood, that's all that matters. Don't listen to him. Gentlemen, are you ready? Ready. Sawyer, stand to your log. Sawyer, are you ready? Go. One, two, three. <laughs> well done, guys. Now, that was all very, very impressive, but this guy here will still be going at the same speed on Friday, whereas these guys here will be in the morgue.